Welcome to Hatch Your Own. Okay, today we've got this 36 egg incubator here. I'll just unbox it for you. So basically when it comes to your house, this is what it's gonna look like. Just run through, very shallow knife because you don't want to cut any of the styrofoam box that the uh, incubator's housed in. Any insulation around an incubator, always leave it on. It's there for a reason, and the reason is to keep that environment, humidity and uh, temperature environment separate to the external environment. In the uh, kit, you also get a spray bottle, a squirter bottle, and a 240 power connection. Now this unit features a 12 volt feature as well. So you can run this unit on 12 volt. Here's the 12 volt connector there. Uh, very handy in blackouts and also very handy if you live off the grid. Okay, so you just pull the unit out by the center housing. This is a unit here, it's got a protective um, plastic cover. Here's the inside of the unit. So okay, we've got our um, angled fan spread here we've got a heating element on the side copper heating element we've got our temperature receiver here and a humidity receiver here this is our egg rotating connector this is where the cord on the bottom of the unit connects to this is the air breather hole for the unit this is where it sucks in all the air and then the air is heated as it goes through and distributed through the unit here is a temperature uh, temperature display, humidity display, and the gauges on top. 12 volt connector, 240 volt. This is where you set your constant mode temperature. And the mode button here is where you change your modes. You've got four modes there, chicken, duck, geese, and pigeon. Pigeon's also good for quail, and duck is also good for keats as well, guinea fowl. Now on constant temperature, you can use it to incubate all sorts of um, birds eggs as well like emu eggs uh, more exotic species of birds as well even down to reptiles and use it as a um, brooder for small mammals etc this is the LED light button here now I'll show you the inside of the unit so you get your manual you got two bits of foam These are rollers here. I'll take all these out. This is your hatching tray. So day 19, you take the rollers out and put the eggs on the hatching tray. Okay, this is your humidity trays. Basically, summer use, winter use. In winter, you need a higher volume of water to maintain humidity due to the dry air, winter, dry, winter air. And in summer, the ambient humidity is already quite high. The air is quite moist. You're sweating more. So there's a very a lot higher humidity. So you use less water um, in the larger one. So put water in, squirt it in through these holes here. In winter, get your squirt oil fill up this inner circle and a little bit let it overflow a little bit into here that'll bring your humidity up to 55 percent 10 percent either way is fine um, and that will hold that for a while as well in summer it holds it for a lot longer with a lot less water so you get your hatching tray that goes inside just maneuver your egg roller cord to the side and you see this little bit here is a connector. Now with your rollers, just put them inside here. You always get one roller with the riding up. That way when you turn your egg rotation on, you can see whether the rotators are working properly. And you simply do that by pressing the plus button. Press the plus button once, and the egg rotation will turn on for a manual check. And then press the plus button again, and that will turn the egg rollers off. Now, if you have it on chicken, duck, geese, or pigeon mode, that will turn automatically every 90 minutes for 200 seconds. Now, with the rollers, you can have your different gaps as well. This is the quails, finches, 
um, a number of smaller birds' eggs. This size gap here is for your geucle, your silkies, your guinea fowl, and stuff like that. Next one along is for your chicken, your duck. And the next one along from that is your emu egg. So you can keep on going bigger and bigger. If you have ostriches, you can go that in there as well. Six emu eggs will fit in this unit and it'll go up from there. Okay, so we're just starting the unit up. You get the parameter 006 camera and your alarm will go off because it's low temperature alarm. There we are. So press the minus button, that will silence that alarm. Um, once you press the plus button, it will manually activate your rollers. So you can open your box and check your egg rotator. Check your writing, it will very, very slowly turn. Your egg rotator light will be illuminated. Press it off and that will be turning your illumination light off. Currently we're on chicken mode. So these are all preset modes. Our preset 38 degrees. It'll change as the days progress for incubation. Best way to run an incubator with the preset modes is fantastic. Uh, you can also run on constant temperature. So we just want to hold the uh, mode button down. That'll put us on duck. Hold it again. We'll put us on juice. Hold it again. Put us on pigeon. And constant temperature. So this temperature here, you can change. So if you have a, um, a emu egg, you need a higher incubation. So you just set it through. Where about so? Here we are. Set it through to what you need and set that. And the program will set the program and away it goes. There's a humidity setting here. So you want to change the humidity. You can just change it to whatever you need. Most eggs are around about here. Set on that and that's constant temperature mode. Now you can use this mode also as a brooder. So you go down to set 37.5. Basically, this is set for the alarm. If you go above that, it will alarm. If too far below it, it will also alarm. So there we go, let's just set that through. Turn the LED light on. That's to candle your eggs. And the 12 volt feature. Let's plug it in there. 12 volt will come up on, on the screen just here. And it's a 240 connection there. So remember, silence mode and egg rotator manual check okay so now we want we've finished incubation we'll put it on chicken now we've finished incubation we've hatched all our eggs and uh, we want to get the unit ready for next time so what we do is press the plus button and minus button that'll reset the counter the temperatures will go back up to the preset modes from, from day one Okay, so we're on the cleaning part of the incubator. Now, when you have used as a brooder and a hatcher, you're gonna get poop and hair and little bits of feathers and all sorts of things, bits of egg everywhere in the unit. So we've got a whole bunch here, I'll just put that up here. So in order to clean it, we want to clean it without wrecking the turning mechanism. So what we do, take the plastic cover off, move that little bit out of the water, we don't want that going in any liquid. Okay, and then um, unscrew. Unscrew these two screws here. One, two. This will remove your turning mechanism. Let's get that completely out. There we are. And now, all you have to do is lift the plastic straight out. And then you just pull it up out of the unit like so. And that way you can go hose that to your heart's content. Pull out the inner roller there, 